Hello, we're going to work on how to get into Clever, which will be your way to access the HMH items, iRead, and um, HMH assignments that teachers load into the system for your signature prep student. The first thing you're going to do is go to clever.com, and then you're going to click log in as a student. When it's your first time, you are going to have to search for our school, but once you start typing it, it will show up. Here I have Signature Preparatory. So I'll click on Signature Preparatory. Now it says that is my district, and we use our Google Single Sign On for everything. So whenever we do our Google Single Sign On, you're going to go ahead and click in your student's first initial, last initial, then their student number, and then the domain is at stu signaturecrep.org. And then you put in your child's password that was provided to you by the teacher. It's up to you whether you want to save the password or not. So now I've added some extra assignments to my child's account so you can kind of see what it looks like. The first thing, sometimes kids will have things saved in favorites. They may not then they should have their teachers listed. And then on Signature Prep apps, the one that you want to use for iRead and HMH assignments for math is to go to HMH Ed. So it's the one that has a little um, smiley face drawn on it. You're going to choose the account that you signed in with on Clever. And then inside HMH, this is your landing page. It defaults back to whatever page you ended on last. If the teacher has assignments in, you'll see them on the assignments tab. And then you can see here this assignment is already started. This assignment is not an assignment. You may have to allow pop-ups the first time in. And of course it didn't work right now, so we'll go back and see what happened. It was just the pop-up blocker. So if it does that, just try it again and it should work. Now this is not one that the kids can write in. So this is something that you would just review with them orally and kind of go over it together. And then whenever you're done going through the activities and the pages, then you would X out of that activity and just click I'm done. And that shows the teacher that you went through it with your child. The other thing that you can do in here is go on to iRead with your child. iRead, once your student goes into it, it's pretty interactive and students can usually work it by themselves without a lot of added assistance. iRead is always located on the Discover tab inside their reading. So HMH into reading, grade K or grade one, and then on iRead, this little monster, you'd hit open. It does have a little intro and sometimes it does take a moment to load. So patience is important. And basically, iRead will just take you through reading centers, individual activities that students can do on their own to gain in reading skills. That's just right for you at Beastie Hall. Listen, then click the word you hear. Win. And you guys kind of get the idea there. To exit out of iRead, you would just do the X button. We also use the X button if we have to walk away to use the restroom or something like that as well. And then you can just hit the go back screen after they've um, gotten back from their break. But we're actually going to exit out of here. And that's how you get into iRead. It has this, it always opens up in another tab. So to get back to your HMH, you would just click the X 
on the tab and then you'll be back in your HMH tab. If you need to toggle to see what's going on in math, you just do the drop down menu. Different students have different things in their menu depending on what their teacher chose for them. So you can also see what they're doing in math. And then remember the place where you wanna make sure you're completing the items is within assignments. One other assignment that you may see are interactive modules. The interactive ones actually have items that you need to do within the assignment. And those are things that the kids have to click on and answer. So here, this would definitely take some assistance for a first grader or kindergartner, but they can choose the numbers. So three airplanes are flying, two airplanes join them. Complete the equation to model the problem. So it would be three, and then I'm gonna click in the next box and add two, and then you can have your child count them all up, click in the next box and choose the answer five. Then it has a check feature. It tells you they're all right, and then you can hit the next button. This kind of assignment, once you go the whole way through it, then your teacher will be able to see if you completed it. So I put my answers in, I hit the check button, I'm good to go, so I'll hit next. You do have to click in each box as you go across or else it'll just put multiple numbers in the same box. It also will not let you go on. It gives you a warning and won't let you go on. Do you want to turn it in anyways? I'm gonna say no, because I want to be a good student. And I'm gonna look at these connecting cubes and say that this is five, take away two. So I'm gonna check it to make sure I'm right and then hit done. And now I will submit the assignment because I have answered all the questions. And then you notice my assignment list is shorter now. So there's less things for me to work on. If you see something in assignments like growth measure, don't worry about doing that. That's something that's done in class and it's probably just an oversight. But any modules or lessons that are dated recently, those are the ones that you wanna go ahead and work on because those are the ones the teachers are checking for completion. Thank you.